So one of my first experiences with Shakespeare was in my high school English class when I was studying Hamlet. Um, and something I thought was really weird when I first read that play was just how much death there is, especially in the last act. Um, and so years later, when I was thinking about topics for this paper, um, I decided to look at the way um, Shakespeare uses death um, to create meaning in his plays. And I decided to especially focus on the death of the tragic hero. Um, and something I found as I was doing research was that this idea of reconciliation, that um, these characters, through their death, they actually um, are able to kind of get a resolution to the conflicts that they face in the play um, and end with on um, almost a hopeful note, even though they do die at the end. Um, and one of the best examples of this is Hamlet. Um, throughout the play, he struggles with the idea of death, his own death, his father's death, and also um, possibly murdering his uncle. Um, and as he um, gets to the end of the play, he reaches a kind of acceptance, a reconciliation with these ideas um, that he cements with his own death. Um, and he also achieves a kind of redemption um, of himself and also of his country as he leaves it open at the end of the play um, to better leaders. And um, in King Lear and Othello, um, it's, there, it's a much different situation. Um, King Lear, he dies over grief at his da daughter's death and Othello um, commits suicide after murdering his wife because of jealousy. And for them, it, the reconciliation is much more um, about um, achieving reconciliation with their ideal selves. For Othello, it's the good soldier that he once was before he was overtaken by jealousy. But um, through his death, he's able to um, regain his honor, regain um, that ideal self that he once was. And for King Lear, um, as he dies with grief over the death of his daughter, he um, he shows his love for her um, and is also redeemed in a way um, through his death. And um, as I wrote this paper, I saw kind of why tragedy, um, why we like tragedy, even though it's sad, because we can all relate to having suffering in our lives, but we can see through these plays that um, you know, even when there's death and all these things happening, there can still be this spark of hope. Thank you.